Hi, this video tutorial I will cover object class uh, equals method. Here you can see children's story book object. It has uh, two fields, name and ISPN number. Name is uh, children's story, ISPN number is uh, 2000. Here you can see kid story book object. It has uh, two fields, name and ISPN number. Name is uh, kid story and ISPN number is uh, 2000. Children's story book object memory address is uh, different from kid story book object memory address. So if you try to do equals of uh, children's story book object with uh, kid story book object, we will get false because uh, children's story book object in one memory location and uh, kid story book object in another memory location. If you try to compare uh, children's story book object with uh, children's story book object, we will get true. Because uh, we are comparing same uh, children's story book object, which is in uh, same memory location. Here I have defined a book class. It has uh, two fields, name and ISPN number. And I have defined uh, getter and setter methods for uh, these two fields. And uh, here you can see book constructor. Using this constructor, we can create a book object. Here I have defined the class uh, object class test. It has a main method. First I will run this program, then I will explain. Here you can see the output. Here I have created a children's story book object. Here I have created a kid story book object. Then I am calling a hash code method of a children's story book object. Here you can see the output. Then I am calling a hash code method of a kid story book object. Here you can see the output and you can see hash code value of a children's story book object is different from hash code value of a kid story book object. Here I am doing equals of a children's story book object with a kid story book object. It will return false. Here you can see because uh, children's story book object in one memory location and the kid story book object in another memory location. So reference of uh, children's story book object is different from reference of uh, kid story book object. So this equals method will return false. Because uh, equals method will compare reference of two objects. If uh, reference are same, then it will return true. If reference are not same, then it will return false. Here I am doing equals of uh, children's story book object with uh, children's story book object. In this case it will return true because we are comparing uh, same object. So reference of uh, these two objects are same. So this equals method will return true. Here you can see the output. Here I have defined uh, integer a equal to 10 and integer b equal to 10. And uh, here I am doing equals of uh, A and B. In this case, it will return true. Because for primitive data types, equals method won't check the object reference. It will check the value. If value of uh, two integer objects are equal, then it will return true. Here you can see the output. The equals method compares two objects for equality and returns true if they are equal. The equals method provided in the object class uses the identity operator to determine whether two objects are equal. For primitive data types, this gives the correct result. For objects, however, it does not. The equals method provided by object tests whether the object references are equal. That is, if the objects compared are the exact same object. Suppose uh, you want to return true if uh, two objects contains same information, then you must override the equals method. If you override equals method, you must override hash code method as well. And uh, this is about uh, object class equals method and uh, thanks for watching.